Welcome to Fallout 76. This is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Saturday, August the 31st, 2024. Before we begin, if you remember in yesterday's daily challenge video at the very beginning, we had that maintenance kind of news at the top right hand corner of the screen. And it being Friday yesterday, it said tomorrow, which is today, Saturday. And I remember saying that must be a mistake never seen this before happen on a Saturday, which is kind of odd. So they could apparently have fixed it. So you see the Fallout maintenance, Fallout 76 undergoing maintenance on September the 3rd. Please reach out to Bethesda support if you have any questions. And of course, that makes sense. As soon as we're getting the new update, we're getting the whole new season 18, season pass, which is pretty awesome. And again, uh, when that maintenance break happens, sometimes you may not be able to log on your usual time. And uh, so just an FYI there. So let's go ahead. We're going to start up our daily challenge video. Just thought I'd share that with you. And I kind of thought it was a mistake. And I'm thinking, gosh, that's so odd. And uh, apparently a few hours later, uh, Bethesda must have uncovered it. And uh, yeah, they made that change. So that's good. <laughs> Wait for that world to build. We'll see what we got for our challenges. Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited for the next season. I know the when it pretty much a couple weeks before the end of a season, I find things kind of slow down a little bit. And uh, once when a new season comes, it usually picks up again. But uh, yeah, it's kind of neat to see uh how things trend like that all right let's take a look here let's take a look see here jimmy move our guy over here there we go actually i kind of moved him up a little bit closer there there we go but whatever that is in the background that's popping up there there we go all right let's see what i got for our daily challenges I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out and give you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas. That way there, if you're a brand spanking new player to the game, you're a returning player, even if you're an experienced player, just a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble, I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can. And of course, you guys are awesome. The great comments and tips, which are greatly appreciated. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and choose some bubblegum ones. So everyone should have free bubblegum on them. Every time you open up a perk card pack, you will get bubblegum for free. And it will show up as perk bubblegum in your food and drink inventory, which is pretty awesome. I know several months ago, uh, some folks were wondering how to get bubblegum. I know some of us will think, oh, this is a pretty easy challenge to do, and everyone knows how to do it. But some folks had actually uh, were selling their bubble gum or dropping it every time they got it from their perk card pack. And they never realized that bubble gum is so useful, not just for choosing bubble gum daily challenges, but also it counts as pre war food as well. Whether collecting pre war food or eating pre war food and cake pie and candy, the free bubble gum you get from your perk card packs are very valuable, and it's definitely something to hang on to. I don't think I have any perk card packs to open. Let's see here. No, I don't. So again, when you, every time you open up perk cards pack, you get free bubblegum. So let's go to our item section, food and drink. Let's go down the list here. See what we got for some bubblegum. I think I usually keep a couple around just to show. There we go. Strawberry perk bubblegum. Sometimes it'll be cola, grape, or watermelon. But this is the type of perk bubblegum that you get from the opening up the perk card packs. And all you do, I do is just eat one. Just like that, choose some bubblegum one for one, done. It's as easy as that, and that's how you get it. All right, what's next here, Jim? What is next? Let's see here. Sell a ski sword to an NPC vendor one. So I did make a video a little while ago where you can find yourself a ski sword. Now you can craft a ski sword if you so wish, as long as you get the requirements at your weapons workbench, and as long as you know the plan, so you can definitely do it that way as well. We'll take a look at that real quick at our weapons workbench here. Now again, you're going to need a plan for this. I believe it's under-edged. Let's see here. 
Let's see. There we go. So a ski sword there. One composite ski, four rubber, five screw, nine steel, and of course level 15 is the lowest level. You can craft it and make sure uh, warrior rank 5 to craft. So you can do it that way if you so wish. We can find free ski swords around the wasteland. Usually we can find them in around these areas here. Top of the world, Pleasant Valley Ski Resorts, uh, Pleasant Valley Cabins is another good spot as well. Uh, so any one of those spots is uh, pretty decent. Uh, another good spot is over here at the White Powder Winter Sports. And that video that I made, this is one of the uh, areas that I brought you guys. Uh, so actually, let's um, yeah, let's go over to the White Powder Winter Sports. That I know for sure it's going to be there. Let's pop over here. Now again, there are going to be a couple of scorched around, and we'll have to deal with them. But that's fine. That is fine. A couple different ways you could do it. Alright, so I don't think we uh, have anything to do with Scorched. Oh yeah, we do like that. Kill the Scorched 10. So again, this is a good spot. You can kill some Scorched at the same time. Right here at the good old White Powder Winter Sports. So one thing good about this one here is the kill the Scorch. We can kill the manual which way with any weapon. There's nothing real crazy about it. And uh, we can find Scorched all around the wasteland as well. We'll get to that very soon. Right, let's go ahead. We're going to come here to get our uh, ski sword. We're going to be upstairs. Of course, we have the treasure hunter mole miners around until September the 2nd, I believe. We hear his little radio broadcast. Don't know exactly where he's at just yet. Right, but here is a free ski sword right there. So you just go ahead and pick that bad boy up. Get some goodies here from these guys. All right, so we got our ski sword here. Now, as the daily says, Scale of sells these ski swords, geez, excuse me, <laughs> to an NPC vendor. So again, any NPC vendor on the map will do. Uh, any robot vendor at any train station will do. Uh, traveling merchants, uh, when you see them around in your camp, they will do as well. Right here at the White Spring Mall, any one of those vendors down there. Over here in good old Flatwoods, we have the White Church with that vendor inside there as well. The last couple of times we've been taking you to the Wayward, we have Duchess over there. Uh, so let's actually go to the White Spring uh, Mall this time around. Now when you spawn here, you actually spawn at this particular icon right here. And this will bring you right to the front door. I don't even know where this cat's at. In here, but I don't even see him anywhere. Huh. Oddly enough. Maybe he's trapped. <laughs> that is a possibility. Right, so once when you're at the front door at the old White Spring Refuge, we're going to head right is downstairs here to the mall. Esme is always whipping so what I try to do on my video, I try to give you guys as many options as possible. And of course, you guys are awesome. You guys, uh, you know, bring your you know, great comments and tips yourselves in the comments, and it's greatly appreciated as well. So we go to any one of these robot vendors down here. Let's go ahead and go trade. Let's go ahead and sell the ski sword to this guy. There we go. I'll sell the ski sword to NPC vendor one for one. Done. Just like that. Just like that, guys. Let's go over here in the corner where it's maybe a little quieter. Let's go ahead and we're going to finish this one here off. Kill a Scorch 10, so... As you saw there, right around the white uh, white powder winter sports will be some scorch there, but be scorch literally all around the wasteland. And uh, if you're having trouble trying to find scorch, let's say you're brand new to the game, never played the game before, and you're just kind of coming in, uh, it can be a little kind of confusing and the game doesn't really tell you a whole lot, but 
I did make a video of, uh, about about a month ago when we had the Fest of Scorched. I brought you guys to 23 different locations where you can guarantee to find Scorched. And you can most certainly check that video out just in case you're on a public server and you're just testing out the game and everywhere you go they're already dead because they're on a public sure, server and everyone's going after these guys as well as the uh, treasure hunter mole miners okay so that's where that video kind of shines it just gives you guys more ideas of where you can go and we pretty much go everywhere around the map all right uh so let's pop over here we're gonna go to somerville's dam there this time and we're going to take care of some scorch down here and again as i mentioned you can kill the minion which way with any weapon, critical hits, whatever you want to do, nothing real special. And we have our treasure hunter, uh, Mole Miner, right, right there for us. Now, fun, funny thing, I tried to make a video yesterday, and I spent about uh, 40 minutes. And in 40 minutes, I went to about eight different areas on a private server, and I couldn't find... I, I think I only found two treasure hunter Mole Miners in that entire time. <laughs> It was brutal. And uh, so I pretty much didn't even bother with that video. just ended up deleting the video. So it was a little bit of a shame, especially when you spend that much time on something. And I'm thinking, I can't, I can't even, I can't release this video. So I was a little disappointed at that. But uh, it is what it is sometimes, you know. It's just the things you got to go through. And I'm not a person that likes to make, you know, an extra long video and then cut it up and all that jazz. I like to kind of make the video nice and smooth and stuff like that, so. Unfortunately, I just abandoned it. <laughs> so hopefully you guys have better luck than me. I'm trying to find those guys. And when you do kill them, don't forget to pick up the pails. The Ornit pail, I've been having a few pails I've picked up. I've had some pretty good luck with some plans. Actually, you guys have seen that at the end of these daily challenge videos. Just need one more, yeah. Let's get this guy around the corner here. Yep. Nice. This is a great spot for some scores. Nice and easy, too. There we go. All right, what's next here? Jim, let's get this cat here. Let's go tell his friends there. <laughs> All right. Let's see what is next here. Collect the fuel tank or gas canister too, so there's many great spots we can find fuel tank and gas canisters. I actually have about six or seven older videos that I made early 2023 trying to find locations for uh, gas tanks and can gas canisters. And the title of the videos would be a scrap drug to produce oil. Of course, that's, what, that's how we would get oil. Um, and that was before the uh, Balkan and scrapping days on my channel anyway. But you can definitely check those videos out if you so wish. You just got to mind the audio because uh, they are older videos when I first started out. So just mind the audio on it, but they're still valid today. Uh, right here, Blue Ridge Bunkhouse finds a really good spot. Up here, I know the last time we had this challenge, I think it was last week, we brought you up here to WV Lumber & Co. Another pretty decent spot. Uh, probably one of the best spots actually is Toxic Larry's Meet & Go. Uh, the only... Uh, issue there, they got the triplets, uh, the three uh, snally gasters that are there, so you gotta watch out for that. Right down here, we have the uh, Mount Blair train yard. Um, so that's where an event called BattleBot will happen. And during that event, there will be all kinds of fuel tank and gas canisters down there as well. Uh, so actually, why don't we do that one? Why don't we do that one? Uh, because we also have a daily challenge here. Complete an event while on a team one. So why don't we do these two at the same time? Complete an event while in a team. And of course, if you check the description, you'll see a link to a video I made. It's called Complete Event for Newbies. You don't have to be a newbie to watch that video. It's about an hour, six minutes long. It's all time stamped. And a vast majority of the events that in that video, I spawn in myself. Now, we have an easier time spawning at events on private servers, and that's what I did. However, we can spawn events on public ones. You guys have seen me do it countless times. It's just a little bit harder because you don't know what the last time that event happened, and there's a little cooldown associated with when you're on public servers, so just keep that in mind. But you can spawn in events on public servers. Now, there's because there's been many times 
we're on a server like the one we're on right now, <laughs> actually, there's not a whole lot of events going on, right? And that's why we have to spawn in some ourselves. Now, the main thing we got to remember about this particular day of the challenge is we have to complete an event while in a team. Now, you can be on a team with other people, or you can be on a team by yourself, and that's what we're going to do here. All right, so we're at our main map page here. We're going to go social. We're going to create a new team by ourselves. We're just going to do an events. There we go. We're on a team by ourselves there. There's Jim. Let's go, go down here. We're going to go down here to the Mount Blair train yard. We're going to try to spawn in BattleBot. Once we're done that, we're going to pick up our fuel tanks. Gas canisters. There we go. So we spawn this event on ourselves. In the terms of the events go, I know it seems to be in a harder level area, but this is probably one of the easiest events you can do. This guy here, I know he looks big and you need all complicated, you just get him in the fusion core. This guy here in the thruster. I know I make it look easy, but it is easy. Alright? Let's wait, wait for him to explode there, just don't get too close to him. And just kind of go here, you just pick up the stuff. But just don't forget those bunker cards off that uh, Mr. Uh, Gutsy there. And the same thing with this guy. Just don't forget your bunker cards. Alright, so we have our two bunker cards here. Then all you do, just walk over here to this building. Now, this building is kind of glitched after you do it the first time these doors stay open, but essentially what's supposed to happen is these doors are supposed to be closed, and when you activate the keypads in unison, uh, the doors swing open. That's what's supposed to happen. So even with the doors open, we can't even complete the event. We still have to go through the uh, paces of the event, which is fine. Now, this thing here is time sensitive, but it might take you a couple times to do. Uh, but the main thing is you don't run, you just walk. So you just activate, you just walk to the other side. When you get over here, you just get the keypad and you just spam it. And that's it. It might take you a couple times, but once you get it down, it's, it's, it's easy. It's extremely easy. And you go inside here. There we go. Complete the event while in the team one for one. We're on a team by ourselves on a private server. So you see how that works. All right. And again, we'll finish it off right here. We're going to collect a fuel tank or gas canister too. And this is one of the good spots. Now you don't have to complete the event. They're just sitting right on top of the building there. And uh, just try to give you guys many options. So we got <laughs> two gas canisters here and two fuel tanks. Let's take a uh, fuel tank and let's take a uh, gas canister. There we go. Got the fuel tank, gas canister, two for two. Done. Just like that. One stop shop, baby. I love it. I love it. The one thing good about in here, there's other great stuff, another couple other fuel tanks inside here as well. But as I said, you don't um, have to get inside here if these doors are closed for you. You just got the two or the four that are up top there all together. Uh, but this little cabinet here has a bunch of great stuff in it. It's always good to kind of check it out and see what's in there. Sometimes there's some good weapons in there too, like today is a Gatlin Plasma, so that's pretty awesome. All right. What's next here, Jimmy? Doing pretty good here. Couple Blood Eagles armed too, so many great spots we can find Blood Eagles around the wasteland. When we think of Blood Eagles, we think of this type of icon right here. You're thinking of nice, easy areas up here in the forest. Of course, we have the crosshairs up here. Twin Pine Cabins. Hunter's Ridge. Kill Box. Pig Stee. Cliff Watch. Right down here, Widow's Perch, those are all extremely easy areas uh, for the Blood Eagles. A little bit harder areas is, of course, we got the uh, Crimson Prospect over here. All right, just an FYI. And I believe there's uh, one little one. Yeah, this one up here, Dagger's Den, that can be a little difficult too, just because there's a lot of uh, kind of hidey holes in around that area. Now, seeing how we're down here, we might as well just pop over here to the Sludge Works. So we got the Roland's Labor Camp. Let's do Roland's Labor Camp because there's usually a Blood Eagle that's out there by himself. Let's go over here. Now, these guys aren't too, too bad. I know I came here with my lower level character here maybe a few, several episodes ago and didn't have an issue at all down here with that. Uh, so this particular daily week challenge here, not only just a Blood Eagle, but I got to cripple their arm too. Okay, so you can go ahead and free aim if you so wish. Definitely nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of good people 
that uh, are really good at free aiming. I like to use Vats myself. I mean, use Vats as a perk card that'll help you out under perception. It's called Concentrated Fire. This allows you to move your Vats around from head, torso, arms, and legs. And the reason why I use Vats is because I can quickly move the Vats around to a left arm, right arm. And then all we need is one Blood Eagle. Now, I might not be able to do it with this particular weapon because it's usually a one shot, one kill kind of deal. But if you have the right weapon, you can definitely, all you need is one Blood Eagle. All right. Left arm. There we go. Right arm. There we go. So that worked out pretty good then. So you see how that was done? All we needed was one Blood Eagle, left arm, right arm. That's why I use Vats. It's up to you at the end of the day what you want to do. But, uh, you know, why not choose the faster, quicker, easier way, right? And then you can move on to bigger, better things. You can go ahead and clear that area if you so wish, but uh, we're just here for the daily challenge. All right, last but not least, we got Collect Caps 250. So a couple ways you can do this, you can wait for people to come to your camp and buy stuff from you. You could definitely do it that way if you so wish. Uh, you can go ahead and do events. You can get caps that way. You can do daily uh, quests. You can get caps that way as well. So there's a couple great ways you can do it just by simply playing the game. Another good way to do it is right down here in Welsh. We have all kinds of mole miners here. They have a bunch of good stuff like shotguns, combat shotguns, even the mole miner gauntlets and the missile launchers. They all usually give you about 19 caps and up. All right. And plus, you don't have to worry about being overweight, and you have a train station right there. We don't have to worry about fast travel because the train station right there is pretty good. Now, something very similar is right up here in Morgantown Airport. You can do the same exact thing up here just because how there's a train station nearby. We have all those scorched, and if you spawn in collision course, which is an event up here, uh, again, more, you know, more uh, weapons, more armor you can sell right over here at the train station. Uh, the only thing about this area is it's more like piped weapons and they don't give you much like maybe about five or seven caps each that's why i recommend better if you plan on doing it this way just go down here to welsh you get just more caps more bang for your buck or if you have a you know a little bit more time you can go ahead and do a bunch of events you can do a bunch of daily quests you do it that way as well so let's pop over here to welsh station just a little bit closer so we have the upper hand and we'll go to the town and again don't worry about uh, being overweight so we have the train station right here. Go ahead and take care of this guy. Here we go. He doesn't usually have a whole lot on him. He's got some soap on him. Definitely hasn't used it. <laughs> oh, we have treasure hunter mole mine right there. Nice. Love it. <clears throat> Again, we are here for the weapons from these guys, gauntlets, etc. He's got a gauntlet and an assault rifle on him, so that's pretty awesome. A lot of these mole miners here, not every, not every one of them, but most of them will usually have a gauntlet and a weapon on them, which is pretty, pretty odd. This is why I recommend this place over Morgantown, but it is what it is at the end of the day, caps are caps. Just don't, uh... Oh, how are you doing? Get worse. Scared me. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't know where he went. Yeah, that's weird. That is, like, super weird. I don't know where his, uh... Pile of goo went there. Where's he at? Bought shop, uh... Probably from that, uh... Guy over there. So there's combat shotgun there. A couple gauntlets. Don't forget your mole miner payoff from that guy over there. Okay, listen. Trying to make a video here. Shoot him in the face. <laughs> I don't know where the, his body went anyway. It's fine. Uh, now I find up here on top of this very first house, there's usually a couple weapons that are just laying up here. They're not here today, so sometimes you come up here, and there's usually a couple of weapons that are just lingering around, which is pretty awesome. Already took the stuff off of that guy. Oh, how you doing? 
This guy here will have the uh, missile launcher on him. I don't know why I even took that. As you can see, I'm overweight, but I'm not too worried about it because we have the train station right there. There's usually a weapon over here that's just kind of hanging around. Usually there's a weapon right here, but not today apparently. Down here and take care of this cat. We only need 250 caps. We did get some caps from completing that event. So we should be fairly close. Usually there's a couple weapons in here too, but I must have picked them up recently. Usually there's one more on this table. Gas canister there as well. Nice. And if there's any chems, any chems that you uh, pick up as well. There's some chems that are around here. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. That's a good time right there. You see this one guy in here. She's a bunch of pre-war food here. Is there a couple cans of dog food? Nice. Three cans of dog food. What are the odds of that? Can't even find the stuff if I'm looking for it. Here's just a random animal up here. Here's just another weapon on this bed, but uh, I must not have uh, reset the game lately. That's fine, I guess. Wreckage. Nothing in it. There's a weapon in here too, but a skeleton. So there should be two more right up on the hill here. We're not going to bother going up to that uh, random assault encounter up there. We're not going to bother. We should have enough weapons on us here. <laughs> the fire got him. Action on too, nice. <laughs> Usually there's a weapon right down here as well. 50, holy mackerel. Pretty, that's alright. Another another couple weapons, pretty awesome. Yeah, aluminum can while we're here. Oh, don't let that bourbon go to waste. Is that silly? All right, so we got uh, enough weapons on us here. Get a bunch of ghouls up there today. A couple of super mutants, so they're going to be fighting each other here very soon. That's what they call a random encounter area. Various types of enemies will show up there. I've seen sheep, sheep squatch. I've seen the uh, the blue devil, the Agua. Many enemies up there. All right, so the main thing you got to remember about this particular uh, daily challenge. When you collect caps, you got to make sure you have enough room for the caps when it says 250. So the max of caps is uh, 40,000. And now you might think to yourself, if you're new to the game, 40,000, Jim, really? No one gets to 40,000, but I'll tell you something. Those of you who've been playing the game for a while, it's, you guys follow me enough that a lot of times I'm maxed out on caps. <laughs> I wish it was. I wish we had more room, but that's something you always have to consider. Make sure you have the room for the caps that they're asking in the daily challenges. Okay. Now again, uh, something that will help you out when you are selling is uh, it's under charisma when you are selling to NPC vendors is called hard bargain. Now this one here is a level three, so it's going to help us out a lot more. But even if you don't have a level three, you have a level one or two, definitely apply it. It's only going to help you. And of course, if you have uh, Grape Mentats, I don't think I have any, I'm going to do, if you have Grape Mentats, again, better barter rates for 10 minutes. So both those, you'll actually get more caps, more bang for your buck, if you're looking to actually look to get caps, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and go trade here. We're just going to go down here to the weapons section. And as you can see, uh, look at that, 31 caps. And again, it all depends on the condition of the weapon. Uh, but that's why I recommend uh, coming... Look at that, 44 caps for that cat. It depends on the condition of the weapon, how much you get, but even these gauntlets, as you can see, 22 caps. 
And uh, this is better, I would say, than the other part. So there we go. Like caps 250, 250. That it was just as easy as that. Let's go ahead and sell this other stuff here. Now trading for supplies, ammunition, and nice. gear. Now you saw that quad. I'm actually going to hang on to that because now we're not going to know. We're not going to know until the update happens, right? But apparently what's supposed to happen is we're going to be able to scrap, uh, you know, legendary weapons, all right? And you have a chance to get a legendary effect off that weapon and your, you know, your character will be just like a recipe or a plant, basically. And you can either learn it or you can sell it. So we don't really know until all this begins to try it out to see what happens, but that's what we're being told. And uh, so quad effect is something definitely I want to kind of have if there's a chance of me getting it or learning that plan because it's definitely worth it to me. So and uh, something like this, stuff like this you can just kind of hang on to uh, for now because we only have a couple days left of this season and then uh, we'll be able to scrap these bad boys. Uh, so just an FYI, just a little quick tip. I'm sure you guys have heard all about it from the other YouTubers there. I, I don't really cover too much of it because I think it's... Uh, everyone and their dog is talking about it there. So I'm more of the daily, weekly challenge guy and kind of review kind of guy. But uh, yeah, just a little quick tip there. I'm sure you guys know all about that stuff. But we'll know more uh, when next week comes and course i'll try to make a video on it once it drops and see how it works out for us so let's take a look here i think we're almost done yeah we are done just like that another easy one here today again a couple days left of the current season 17 season pass and uh for those of you who had made a mention that some of you guys are kind of stuck in between uh levels here and there's not enough uh time or tickets to even buy anything, so that's kind of unfortunate. I feel bad for you is there, but with the new season coming, hopefully that'll uh, that'll help you out a little bit more. But uh, but yeah, if you haven't used any of your tickets and you're able to buy uh, stuff like you know stuff like atoms, you know what I mean, or even score booster drinks or stamps or caps or whatever that you're able to buy, you know buy it. You know use your tickets up because your tickets don't uh, get transferred. Uh, over okay so there you guys go hope you guys enjoy the video please like subscribe and share when you have the chance it really helps me out i'd like to thank my channel members artistically arranged boogaloo bronson michael edwards nigel whiffin heather white tribe rob Cole, mr shelton drake stamps mr prince not me but me yes me that's me g33k thank you all so very much and i hope you all have a nice day